Hey all, welcome again on Devish Tech. So now we posted our data into the back end of the profile and now I, I will click on a profile page then the profile data is available message are showing here. Now it's time to fetch the data from the back end and show that data into the main profile page. So my main purpose is to make the profile page like the medium. So let's work on that and uh, like the medium we have the back arrow like update button or this kind of title we will do the same thing over here so for that what I will do that I will create a new file called the main profile dot dot and in the main profile dot dot I will use the awesome flutter snippet and create the snippet first it will be a stateful widget and name will be main profile and instead of container I will return a scaffold then let's work on to the main profile dot dot file so basically when I work on a new screen I import type screen onto the main dot dot file so again I don't have to navigate to that screen again and again at the time of debugging so here we are in the main profile dot dot file and you know that we have to add the app bar as we see on a medium profile so in the app bar what I will do that was we will add the arrow back button and it will be a icon button type and in the icons I have to provide the icon widget and the name of the icon so the name of the icon is arrow back and uh, instead of null let me add uh, some empty meter and the color of the icon black and hit the save and uh, you will see the app bar over here so let me add a uh, elevation so I will do the elevation as a 0 and I will add a background color so the background color will be white 10 so it will look the same color as our scaffold color now I will add a uh, one button over here for the updating a profile so let me add it and just copy the icon button widget which we created and in the action property which we have in the app bar provide this icon button and instead of add a back icon just use the icons dot edit now hit the save and you will get a edit button over here now let's work on to the body of the scaffold so the body will be a list view type because we have a multiple multiple widget over there and uh, we have to use the list view and uh, in the list view what I will do that there will be a header section where I will show the profile profile um, photo and in the below of the profile photo will have the username and the title line so it will be a header section so I will create uh, another method for it a head method and in the head method I will return a column and the column we just have to use the children and in the children I will use a circle or tar because you know that to show the profile image on a circular wave we use a circle avatar and the radius of the circle avatar is 50 to see the changes let me import this head onto the list view and see the changes one minute I did a mistake that I have to pass it on a children and in the children let me provide this head and see the circle or tar over here 
now it's looking great now in the column we just have to do a one thing that uh, wrap the circle or tar into the center widget and uh, the cross axis alignment of the column as uh, start wrap the column with the padding also so 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 it will look good let me add the padding also symmetric type and uh, it will be a horizontal like 20 and uh, vertical 5 maybe it will be good and uh, let me just do a one quick thing that uh, now we have to work on to the the username button so i mean the username text so below the this center let me add a text widget that text widget will be a username type so for the widget testing only i will adding as a dev stack 06 and the style will be the text style in the text style provide the font size the font size will be 19 and the font weight will be font weight bold hit the save and see the changes that we have a devish tag 06 over here and uh, the another will be a title which we will show just below the devish tag so the title will be look like this uh, we, first we will add a size box and in the size box I will provide a height because we need to have some padding will be 10 then add uh, another text widget where provide the title like app developer full stack developer heap and web developer the thing which you want to show in your title and hit the save and let's see what will happen you can see the changes over here and we will fetch the image let me first do a one quick thing that we just have to add a divider between here divider and in the divider we have to provide the thickness the thickness will be 0 0.8 something and you will see a divider over here and below the divider we will add name about and all those details which we are facing so right now we are working on a UI part then after the UI will be done then we will fetch the data and the show the data here so for that I will just create a another widget called other details because I don't want to just use I mean I don't want to use over here I mean the name and the about all this detail will be created using single custom widget I mean this custom widget I will use for the all the other widget I mean let just see that what I am doing so it will return again a column and in the column we will have a children again and the children first children will be a text which is the obviously a label the label which I will get like and another thing will be a value I mean the label means the about is a label and the thing are written in about section is a value so the label will populate over here and just wrap it with this and add a string 
and add this now just do the styling just use text style and uh, the label phone size will be 18 and the uh, font weight will be bold bold okay now hit the save and add the size box over here and you will see the changes once I will import this thing because I'm just creating a screen right now after that we have to work on to the real thing I mean fetching a data and populating a data so the the value will be like this and we can do the styling of the value also and uh, let me just create this thing and the font size will be 16 and hit the save and now just do a quick thing that instead of cross axis alignment we have to use the start and again wrap the column with the same thing with the same padding which we are using so just copy this padding which we use over here and add this thing over here and now we are ready to go to use this thing I mean we will import it over here in the body after the divider so we have to pass the label like I will provide a label about and we have to pass the thing we want to show in about section like I am a Balram Rathor a full stack developer also a web and app developer just I'm writing us some stuff to see the changes hit the save and you can see that the thing came here now just I'm just have to do a one thing that instead of size walk 10 let me provide the 5 now we are ready to use the widget which we created it is a custom widget because we have a multiple widget over there to use this and uh, now I had to do a one quick thing just use the 17 and uh, here also use it as a 18 so maybe it will look great now we are ready to go and just use the same other detail thing for the other thing also so I will copy it and I will paste it for the name and provide my name over here so the thing is that before we fetch the data we had to make a UI first to show how it will look like so now the UI thing is completed and uh, we will use this custom widget which we created for the all other detail like uh, you know that we fetch the data in the data we have an image field name field profession field UOB and about so title line and image and username will come over here and about name DOB and uh, profession will come here and uh, just after the name field I mean just after this all the thing I will add a divider and here I mean after getting a data here we will show the post which we made yet so if you know here you can see the post which we made over here can seen over here similarly we will do for 
our profile page also so before we move forward i mean before we fetch the data from the back end we had to create a model classes so now the ui part is completed we have to work on to the model part and i will do that thing on to the next video but first i will complete one thing that one we were requested me to show the image which we stored in a back end and how we will do that so for that we just go on a network handler and i created a one method called the uh, get images so here the get image images is return type have a network image and i am just passing the username which i will get from the back end and as you know we have a formatter that will add the uh, the base url which we have over here then in the formatter i am passing the endpoint so you know for the image we are have the uploads folder inside the upload folder we have the image of our user and the image name is the same like uh, the user name so what i did that uh, slash uploads the folder name where where the image is stored slash slash and i'm just passing the user name which i will fetch from the back end and the dot jpg and i'm returning a network image which is a widget type and that widget can be used on to the on to the circle or tar background image property so i will show that how it will look like then we will do the real thing i mean the real fetching data into the next video so let me add the network handler and in the network handler i have the get image method and here i have to just provide the username so you know that for my case the username is stack dev stack 06 so if i will hit the save and just wait the image is now came here which mean you just have to use this get image method which i created inside the network handler and uh, with help of your base url and slash upload and slash username dot jpg endpoint you can access your the image which you stored in the backend so which mean the the doubt of that user i mean that viewer is solved over here so in the next video what we will do that we will create a model classes inside the model classes we will map the json data which we are getting from the backend and this json data will be map and access on the this main profile dot dot file sorry for uploading a video very late don't bother about that i will upload the next video which will wrap the main profile page soon thank you all happy coding and see you on the next video